Good morning, everybody. So it's about, I think it's about 6, 6.30 in the morning on Cricket's Chirps Farm. There's Luna and Zeke. And as you can see, um, Luna has not had her babies yet. I was a little bit worried I might wake up to babies this morning because I did finally get a few hours sleep last night after two nights of staying up waiting for Daffodil's babies. Luna seemed okay last night, so I felt okay getting um, at least a few hours sleep because I really need to be refreshed when hers comes since after our little surprise of twins with Daffodil, I just don't know what to expect with Luna. And I'm a little bit worried <clears throat> we could have another big baby coming. So I just want to be refreshed and alert. But I did want to show you guys something because we've been having freezing temperatures here uh, we were worried about that with um, the new babies coming because um, Christopher's built this wonderful, wonderful goat shed. Um, and it's, it's pretty um, covered up. I mean, but you have to be careful with these newborn goat babies if they don't get a draft. So I went around and I insulated it with straw and any openings that it had, the front was open. Um, almost completely. I mean, it's covered with pallets, but open pallets. So I insulated them with straw. Last night after the babies were born, I took two blankets, which is what I did last time too, and hung them up to cover the top where a draft would have come in. But I want to show you what mama does to protect her baby. It is so sweet. I came in and mommy has them underneath her loft there, tucked away in the corner. They're sound asleep back there. You can't even see them. Because I was watching her do this last night. She dug out a nest. I hope you can hear me. I just don't want to disturb them. She dug out a nest in the straw, guys, and then kept calling and calling them over. That one went right over and went to sleep. The other one that's in the corner, <laughs> you can't even see her. Um, kept coming out and bouncing around. Yes, they do already bounce around a tiny bit um, and wouldn't come in and she kept calling her and calling her and would have to come out to get her. Finally got them back there and settled where she wanted them. The instincts of these animals that kicks in right after they become mothers is incredible. There you can see her head back there. Um, but she got them all tucked into a corner. And in the meantime, because they were brand new babies, she also had to get them, I was watching all this transpire late last night. She also had to get them both to latch on and suckle to get their first colostrum. And the little dart girl um, with the striped face, she hadn't latched on yet. And it was really interesting because I was concerned and um, Daffodil obviously was too, and she kept licking her bottom and nudging her towards her udder and trying and trying to get her to latch on. Um, and she finally did. I didn't go to bed till they had both latched on at least once or twice. See, I, I feel bad I'm kind of waking them up and it's still really cold. But it is so sweet how warm she keeps them. And here I was so worried about it. I was so, so nervous about what I was going to wake up to, and Daffodil is the best mother, you guys. Look at how beautiful those babies are. I am so tickled, not only because we have two little girls, but they're just so beautiful. Daffodil's a beautiful girl, and Zeke is behind me, and I'll show him to you guys in a minute. He's just overflowing with curiosity. He's a beautiful boy, too. And we won't know till the future if we got any fainters out of Zeke or not. But so we've dubbed this little girl um, our little unicorn girl. That's we'll figure out some cute names later. But Diane mentioned that she looks like a little unicorn, and she does. And I don't know how many of you know this, but I love unicorns. So she's our little unicorn girl. And you can't see 
the other one. The other one's a little fawn colored. Like your mama. Then she's got Zeke's markings. I'm so in love with these babies and so in love with what a good mama daffodil is. show you Zeke while the other little girl is kind of getting up for Zeke. She's even being a good boy. Oh, he walked over there. So there's Zeke and Luna. I, I would bet my money that Luna's going to have her babies today. She was due yesterday. Um, from what Diane tells me, one doe having a baby can throw the other one into going into labor herself. And Luna wanted to come right out of the shed this morning to eat when I came out. So, again, against my best judgment, I let her out. She might be a little harder to get back in, but um, she she really wanted to come out. And I see she's eating and everything. So, I kind of let them follow their instincts. And it's a real small paddock, like I mentioned with Daffodil. It, it's not like they're in a huge area for me to catch her or even have to make her go back into the shed if I have to. But Daffodil went in yesterday when she was in labor, so hopefully Luna will too. But I kind of wanted you to see Zeke's markings because later on I'm going to show you even though the little girl is fawn colored, she, like Bodhi did, has Zeke's exact markings. I think she does. I, I didn't get to look at them completely real well yesterday, but she sure did look like she had his exact markings with the fawn coloring. Hi, Zeke, your daddy again. Let's see if you can see her now. Oh, yeah, Daffy stood up. I'm sorry, I woke you up, Daffy. I'm going to go get you some food and water. I got you some warm molasses water. Okay, well, she's got him. She's trying to get them all tucked into the corner. We'll get the other baby on video a little later. I'm sure we'll have lots and lots of videos. But I do know she's okay because I saw her wiggling around in her corner before I started the video. little girl going to get some milk. Poor little daffodil. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Where's your sister? I am just amazed that we got two little girls. I'm so happy she broke our spell here on the farm of continual <clears throat> males, uh, as you can hear behind me. Um, I don't even let the hens sit on eggs anymore now because we literally get all roosters. All roosters, all the time. Bodhi was obviously a boy, and we adore him, um, <clears throat> but it's nice to get does. I hear you, Zeke. I hear you, baby. Don't eat my pants, please. Where's your other little girl? Is she seeping? Is she all, oh, there she is. I'm going to make her mama. Dang it, I can't get her. I don't really want to disturb her because we're nice and warm. There she is. There she is. Can you see her? Did you hear her? I want you guys to hear them too. They make the cutest little sounds. Baby girl. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm always clogged up in the morning. And no, it's not COVID. Thank goodness. I don't know about everybody else who's a farmer, but I also get uh, 
actually I'll go ahead and ask this while I'm on video. I get these allergies from the straw um, and it's real powdery right now and I obviously had to clean all the sheds before the babies came and uh, my man, Lady Susan and I were talking that the straw is especially powdery right now. And I was telling her, it's, I always know the day after cleaning sheds that I'm gonna be really sick the next day. Um, and I'm, I'm calling it allergies. I don't know what it is, but um, I get uh, really clogged up and, and I actually feel ill the whole next day and sometimes two days after cleaning all the animal sheds and using, throwing straw in there, raking up straw, um, the dirty straw, and then putting new straw in. So just curious if anybody else has that same experience. Um, Cause I do and always have. That's part of why I'm clogged up right now. Oh, Zeke, ouch, he's starting to hurt me. Okay, we've seen enough of the babies for now. We'll get them later. I'm gonna feed daffodils probably starving and I'm gonna give her a little more warm molasses water. Hey, you. You wanna see everybody? Say hi. Let's get Zeke. Zeke's chasing me. He wants some attention. Hi, Zeke. Say hi, I'm a daddy. Say hi, I'm a daddy. You wanna say hi to everybody? Zeke can be a little bit of a problem because mama spoiled him when he was a baby. Yeah, I'm petting him right now. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Come here. Say hi. I'm Zeke, and I'm problematic because Mama spoiled me when I was a baby. And now I'm a little butthead. Pun intended. See my pretty goatee? But he loves to be petted and loved on, but then the minute I walk away, he gets upset with me, and he takes these horns, which is why we don't keep horns on babies anymore. And he hurts me. Yeah, he hurts Mama. And it's all because he wants attention. Because he's a brat. Yes, he's a brat. Christopher gets very upset with you. Stop. I want to get your face so you can say hi to everybody. Say hi. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll be checking in later with the babies and hopefully with Miss Luna. I will talk to you all later.